So hi everybody and welcome to my channel. I had some people go ahead and email me and also they went ahead and left comments down below on the YouTube channel under the app called Blockada telling me that it's really not working so great and that it's kind of hard to set up. So I'm going to show you one today that I personally use. Works really great, easy to set up. So stay tuned. I'll show you what it is, show you how to set it up. It's time for streaming. So hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. So here we are today. I'm on the Fire Stick 4K. If you're looking for a new Fire Stick, check out my description down below. I have a couple of links to some Fire Sticks. Also the Amazon Cube. It costs no extra for you to click on it, but it does give me a small commission and it does help out the channel. I really do appreciate. Also, another big thing to do is always make sure you're using a VPN when you are streaming. This way you can go ahead and stream safe and your internet provider does not know what you're doing. I also have links down below, Surfshark and ExpressVPN. Again, click on them, no extra cost to you and they offer some really good prices for months and years. So here we are on the home screen Fire Stick 4K. What we need to do is go ahead and get this app first. So let's go over to the left magnifying glass. Let's go down to search and click on search. Once we go ahead and click on search, go over to D and D O and then click on downloader. Give it a minute. Apps and games. Here it is. Go ahead and click on downloader. Once it comes up and says download your own it, go ahead and click on it. Give it a minute while we're waiting. Please click on that like and subscribe button and ring that bell. That way, you know, when I put up other videos, I really do appreciate it and it does help out the channel. Let's go ahead now, click on open, click on allow, and click on OK. Let's click on the home button. Let's go over to the right to where the gear is or settings. Let's go down to My Fire TV. Let's go down to Developer Options. Let's go ahead and open that. Click Apps from Unknown Sources. Make sure it's turned on and turn it on. Now let's go ahead, click on the Home button again. Let's go back over to the right. Let's click on the three squares and a plus sign. Let's go ahead now and find Downloader that we just downloaded. Here it is right here. Go ahead and click on it. Let's open it up. Up here where it says enter a URL or a search term, we're gonna type in five numbers. I'm going to type them in now and then we'll come right back. So here's the numbers that you need to type in. After you type them in, go ahead and click on go. It's going to go ahead and redirect you. And that's where we could go ahead and get Ed Guard. As you can see, it's going to DocSquaffy.com downloads. What happens here? He's a good friend of mine in the UK and he has a lot of programs. The one we're going to be looking for today is called Ad Guide. Once we get here on this page, let's go ahead and scroll down. Scroll down almost to the bottom until we find Ad Guide. I'm going to do that now and come right back. So here it is right on the neat where it says Ad Blockers. Go ahead and click on Ad Guard. Block all ads on Android devices. Go ahead and click on it. If you get an advert, just go ahead and click close on it. And let's continue. Let's scroll down. Download the latest. I'm just looking for this download button right here. Go ahead and click on download. It redirects you and it starts downloading. Comes in really fast. Once it comes in, it's going to go ahead and let us cancel or install. Let's go ahead and click on install. After it installs, go ahead and click on done. Click on delete. Click on delete again. If you're new to the channel, when you click on delete inside downloader, it just deletes the file inside the downloader app, not on the app that we just downloaded. So let's go ahead and click on the home button on our 4K remote. Let's go over to the right to where the three boxes and the plus sign is. Let's click on it. Let's scroll down. Let's go find Ed Guard. Here it is right here, white background with a green security and a white check mark. Go ahead and click on it to open it up. Now this is where it's gonna be nice and easy to set all the settings for you. 
Let's scroll down here. Go to where it says protection is disabled and click on it. Now click on create local VPN. Just because this says create local VPN, I still highly recommend that you get either Surfshark or ExpressVPN. Click now on OK. Give that a minute. Now what you want to do is go over to the left to the top where the three lines are and go ahead and click on that. You want to go down to settings. So what I have noticed with this new version of AdGuard, you do need a mouse toggle. If you don't have one, I'll show you in a few seconds on how to get one. So meanwhile, while we clicked on settings, open up your mouse toggle. Let's go down to where it says DNS filtering. Let's go over here. Let's go ahead and click on it to open it up. Once it opens up, go over to the right and let's go ahead and turn this on where it says off. Let's go ahead and turn that on. Now let's go down to where it says select DNS server. Go ahead and click on that. Now what you want to do is you want to click on where it says add guard DNS family protection. Let's go over to where the circle is and click on that one. Once you have clicked on it and the yellow dot is in there, just go ahead and click on the back button of your remote. Click back, make sure they're still on, click back again, protection is enabled, go ahead and click on the home button on your Fire Stick remote. Now let me show you how to go ahead and get a mouse toggle in case you do not have one. So once back onto the home screen of your Fire Stick 4K, let's go over to the three squares and a plus sign again. Let's go ahead and open up Downloader. Once you opened up Downloader, let's go back in where we could type in some numbers and I'll come right back so you can see what they are. What you want to do is type in 25628. Once you have done that, go ahead and click on go. Let's wait to be redirected. So once you're redirected, it comes back up. Cancel, install. We want to say install. It should install really fast. It's not that big of an app. Go ahead and click done. Delete and delete again. Click the home button on your remote for your Fire Stick. Let's go ahead now, go over to the right again, three squares and a plus sign. Let's go down, let's find the mouse toggle right here. Go ahead and click on it to open. Give it a second to open up. On the bottom, you're going to see where it says status. It says now starting. This is great, that's what you want to see. Go ahead, click on the home button on your remote. Now when you go ahead and you're in a program, where it needs to use a mouse toggle, just double click real fast on the play pause button. A circle will come up like you've seen that I was using and that will be your mouse toggle. Please leave your comments down below. I hope this helps you out. Remember, the ad guard is only going to help you block ads on one of your third party apps. It's not going to block ads in let's say YouTube, Hulu, Sling TV. It won't do that. So just keep that in mind. Please remember to like and subscribe and ring that bell. That way you know when I put up more videos. Remember day or night, it's time for streaming.